Hello everyone and welcome to our Mid-Journey channel. Today I have prepared for you 36 tips to help improve your Mid-Journey experience. Number 1. In Mid-Journey's alpha site, changing the aspect ratio has been made easier. Just toggle the sliders and you can adjust from portrait to landscape with ease for better storytelling. Number 2. Adjusting your stylization levels has been made easier. Drag your sliders to set how much of Midjourney styling AI can influence your prompts. Number three, Midjourney has added this feature called weirdness, also known as dash dash chaos. If you want out of this world ideas and interpretations beyond the norm, drag your sliders. The higher the number, the weirder it gets. Number four, add more variety to your results. Midjourney usually generates four related designs. Toggling this slider higher makes your generated images designs further apart for more inspiration and choices. Number five, toggle between standard and raw before submitting your prompts to help Midjourney decide between injecting their own twist to your prompts or sticking to your original idea. Number six, you can access Midjourney and Niji's older versions. Just click version and choose your fighter from the drop down. Number seven, use the Niji engine for anime styles. They're built for that. Number eight, change your generation speed between relax, fast, and turbo. But remember, the faster they generate, the more GPU hours it eats up, and the price points vary. Number nine, earn fast GPU hours for free by ranking images. Go to the left-hand side, click tasks, and click rank images, and start choosing your favorite images to get an R of fast image generating. Number 10, Answer mid-journey surveys and get free fast GPU hours. You can earn up to 4 hours of free fast GPU hours depending on the survey. It just can't get any luckier than this, right? Number 11. Use multi-prompts. One-word prompts are fine, but mid-journey is a genius 7-year-old. It has no idea what you mean, so use as many words to describe the image you have in mind to help it understand. Number 12. Generate multiple results for one prompt by using dash dash r and a number from 1 to 10 to specify how many times you would like Midjourney to automatically generate your prompt. Number 13. If you want to reuse your prompt, just click the T icon in the upper right corner of your generated image and it will automatically appear on the text box. Number 14. If you want to change your generated image's aspect ratio, just click reframe on the lower right hand side and toggle the sliders to your desired aspect ratio. Midjourney will fill in the blank areas. Number 15. If you want to pan your image to a different direction, just go to the right-hand side of your image and click on the arrows depending on where you want it to be adjusted. Midjourney will regenerate based on it. Number 16. If you want to change very small details on your image, click on the Repaint button, also known as Vary Region from the Discord version. It will show you a small window where you can highlight the area you would like to revise and enter your prompt for it. Number 17. Specify your subject. When using prompts, always make sure to describe what your subject is going to be. For example, a cute rabbit or a furry dog and anything else you can think of. Number 18. Specify your preferred season for more environmental storytelling. You can use either winter, spring, summer, or fall to add more ambiance. Number 19. Specify your time. Adding prompts like sunrise, sunset, or dusk greatly improves your lighting. Number 20. Specify the mood of your scene. Adding prompts like depressing, scary, jolly can add greatly to your image's vibe. Number 21. Specify your preferred color palette. You can use teal and brown, sepia, black and white, orange and teal, blue and red to instruct mid-journey to dominantly use these colors. Number 22. Camera angles come first. Putting your prompts for camera angles at the beginning tells Midjourney how important it is to the composition. For example, low camera angle view with a man sitting down. That way, Midjourney will generate a view from below the man's chin or so. Number 23. Use emojis for your prompts. You have no idea what kind of magic this does. Try it out and let us know what you get. Number 24. Add text to your mid-journey image by using quotation marks before and after the text you want to show up on the picture. But note, typos can still happen. Number 25. Go to the Help tab for mid-journey guides and documentation. Always use your resources to learn faster. Number 26. 
Use the Explore tab for inspiration. Scroll through the images generated by users all around the world for prompt and design ideas. Number 27. Personalize your prompt results through ranking. Ranking images can actually help Midjourney understand which styles you prefer. Machine learning is in your fingertips. Just add dash dash p to the end of your prompt to apply your taste. Number 28. Use permutation prompts. Sometimes you will need different variations of a specific design or specific prompts, but you don't have the time. Using permutation prompts by using the wavy bracket before and after your varieties, and Midjourney will process those all in one click. Number 29. Upscale images for higher quality. By choosing between Upscale Subtle and Upscale Creative, you're upping your image's resolution from the standard 1024 by 1024 to 2048 by 2048 pixels, enough to be usable for your graphic needs. Number 30. Use a thesaurus to help you come up with better words for your prompts. Some online sites are thesaurus.com, merriamwebster.com, hollinsdictionary.com, and many more. Number 31. Be prepared for trial and error. Mastering mid-journey isn't a one-hit wonder. Find your prompts, play around with the buttons and sliders, and try out different styles to find your perfect mix. Number 32. Your imagination is the limit. Only you can tell Midjourney how far it can go. Just don't go beyond what's legal, okay? Number 33. Prompts don't have to be chapters long. One good sentence with a substantial amount of description is more than enough. For example, a prince on a golden horse standing in the middle of a wheat field during the sunset. Everything's there, right? Number 34. If you are not satisfied with your first four images, hitting the rerun button is your best friend. Rerun as much as you need to find that perfect image. Number 35. Don't be afraid of editing apps and softwares. Midjourney isn't perfect, and Midjourney can't do your editing work for you. Feel free to use Adobe, Affinity, Canva, and many more to complete your design. Midjourney is just one of the tools you can use. And last tip, subscribe to the Midjourney Experience YouTube channel for more Midjourney tips. And if you are a creative or a professional who wants insider tips, behind the scenes, and early access to our tricks, subscribe to our exclusive Midjourney Experience newsletter through the link in the description below. That's all for today, folks. Looking forward to your images. See ya!